question for the six of practice test two. If m is equal to negative two and p is equal to three, then four p minus m over m p equals. Let's see. <coughs> four times p. All right, four p minus m over m times p. Now, we know that p is equal to 3. So when it says 4p, it's 4 times p, which is 4 times 3 minus m. Minus m. When it says minus m, m is negative 2 so remove the m and put negative 2 and you have to watch the signs carefully the negative over mp m times p is negative 2 times 3 because m times p is negative 2 times 3 so let's see what happens 4, 3 is 12 minus negative 2 over negative 2 by 3 is negative 6. 12 minus negative 2 is same as 12 plus 2. Alright. So 12 and 2. That's going to be 14. 14 over 6. 14 sixth is the same as 27. 2 into 14 is 7. 2 into 6, 3. 7 thirds. So question 46, it's 7 thirds. So what I want is practice test 2. And to look at the answer for question 46. He's saying. Oh, negative seven thirds. I accidentally left off the negative sign. So you see, I have to be very careful. So the answer is A, negative seven thirds. All right. We go on to question 47 now. Question 47. It says, what is the median of the sample 5, 5, 11, 9, 8, 5, 8? First of all, you know these numbers, you have to arrange them in ascending order. This could be ascending or descending, but the lowest number here is 5. There's a 5, there's another 5, there's another 5. So there are 3 5s. The next highest number is there's no 6, no 7, there's 8. I see an 8 and another 8. And I see a 9, 1, 9, no 10, 1, 11. Is everything covered? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. Now we want the median. So we see what the middle number is. So we cut off. Five. I like the other color to this. No. I want a different color for the highlighter. Not too dark. How do I get that color? Alright. So, yes. Oh, this is kind of light. Let's use this. Alright, so there's 5 on the left. We cut off 1 from each end, 2 from the left, 2 from the right. Still don't reach the middle. 3 from the left, 3 from the right. Ah, we have 8 in the middle. So, suggesting question 47. 
So question 47, the answer is C. All right, 47 is C. Let's move on to 48. Let's erase these things. It says 3m squared n cubed times 4m n squared is equal to. All right, it says 3m squared n cubed by 4m n squared. Remember, you really have multiplication between these two to you know but you don't you don't generally put multiplication between letters or between numbers and letters all right but it means a multiply but anyway let's put like terms together number and number three by four by m's m squared by m times the n's now n cubed by n squared 3 4 is 12. We can see that A and D are out. The number is supposed to be 12. M squared times M is M cubed because it's really M to the 1. If we add the indices, we see that we have 2 and 1 is 3. Our M squared means there are 2 M and then there's 1 third M that multiply. So you can see the answer is going to be B. Right? B. But anyway. Let's finish it off just for the fun of it. n cubed times n to the n squared is going to be n to the fifth. So you can see 48 is b. 48b. Alright. 49. Uh, let's get rid of these rough work. 3x plus 1 over 2 minus x plus 1 over 4 is equal to now you have 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 over 2 minus x plus 1 over 4 you know we can draw the line and find the LCM right but Let's just do it another way. If we need the, f the the bottom number to be the same, you know, it would. If we could get four under here, it would be a certain number of quarters minus x plus one quarters. We just subtract the top, the numerators, and put it back over the four, and that is the number of quarters we have left. So, I want the 2 to become 4. I must multiply by 2 under here. But, to compensate, I multiply up here by 2 as well. After all, 2 over 2 is 1. So, the value of the number doesn't change. So, 2 times 3 is 6x plus 2 times 1 is 2. 6x plus 2 over 2, 2 is 4. Minus x plus 1 over 4. So, what I have up top is all of this over 4. Now, remember to put the brackets because you're minusing all of this. So, it's 6x plus 2 minus the x plus 1. So, what you end up with is 6x plus 2 minus x minus 1 when you open the bracket. Alright? over 4 so continuing here 6x minus x is going to be 5x All right c and d are out it, it's not 7x it's 5x 2 minus 1 positive 2 minus 1 is plus 1 over 4 so 49 is b so question 49b, alright? Let's look at question 50 and see what 50 is saying. Let's erase these rough work.
the table below or the table shows the distribution of ages of 25 children number of children this should add up to 25 6 and 3, 9, 9 and 5, 14 and 4, 18, 19, 22 and 22, 5 and 2, 5 and 3, no, 2 and 3, 5, so it's 25, right, they add up to 25. What is the probability that a child chosen at random, meaning you just pick one, close your eye and just point, you don't know where you're pointing and it happens that you point to or you pick any one of them what is the probability that a child chosen at random is at least 13 years old a child chosen at random is at least 13 years old at least 13 years old means that they can be 13 or older the least is 13 no less than 13 at least me no less than so how many of them first of all probability remember it is the number that you want right the number that you are looking at the number that you're interested in so the number that you focus on the number that you're focusing on divide by the total number available the total number available all right so the probability here is how many you're focusing on you're looking at at least 13 so the number of children that are 13 or older is 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 over the total number available is 25 so let's see 4 and 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 and 5 is what? 16. 16 over 25. I don't see where you can cancel on anything. So, this is saying that the answer to question 50 is D. Question 50, D, right? Question 50 is D. Alright, let's take a break from it and continue next time.